Good morning, my name's John Harding and I'm going to talk to you today about taking a sample of benthic invertebrates in a stream system. Uh, so one of the reasons why we're interested in this sort of thing is that we want to collect these small invertebrates or insects. These are animals that don't have a backbone. Invertebrates are really important because they're used for biomonitoring purposes. They tell us something about how healthy or how polluted the stream is. So often around New Zealand we collect benthic invertebrates on a regular basis. To do that uh, we'll often come down to a, a site in a stream such as this one here where I've chosen faster water. Often there's more of these invertebrates, these small insects, in the faster water. And we sample it with a net here, so I've got a standard uh, kick net we call them, and it has a mesh bag, which is usually about half a millimetre size mesh. So half a millimetre is about the size of the insects that we can see with our naked eye. So to take a sample, what we do is place the, the kick net down on the substrate, make sure it's firmly down on the substrate, and then kick vigorously upstream of the net. So what we're doing here is we're disturbing the bed of the stream. We can uh, have a bit of a, a rub over of cobbles and boulders, so we can get small insects and invertebrates to wash and turn there. The more vigorously you kick, the more insects, the more invertebrates you're going to collect in your net. So now I've got a net here with um, a sample of animals and it's got silt and other stuff in it. So I'm just going to give it a little wash here to get my sample down to the bottom of the net. And then what I'm going to do is transfer it over to a pottle which we're going to keep our sample in. So the pottle here uh, has got a label, so we make sure that we label all our samples. This is a paper label which I've written on in pencil. Here's the actual label here. And the reason why I've used pencil is because I'm going to put some preservative in here, some ethanol, to um, keep the animals till we look at them in the laboratory. I've also put a label uh, on the top of my pottle here so that later on in the lab I know where I took the sample, what date I took it on, and who the collector was. So I've got a little pottle here to put my sample in. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and then I'm going to transfer my sample into the pot. You might just need to give your net a little bit more of a wash out just to get the rest of the sample down to the bottom there and then put it in there. And you can check your net just to make sure you haven't got any small animals attached to the inside of the net. Then I'm going to put some ethanol in here, some preservative, because I'm probably not going to look at these animals for a few days, maybe a week or so, and if I don't preserve them then they'll die and decompose and when I come to look at them in the lab I won't necessarily be able to identify them. So I'm going to put about um, half a pottle worth of ethanol in there, it's 70% ethanol. I've got my, my label, which I'm going to put in here, and then Close it nice and firmly with the lid, and that's my sample taken, and now I'm going to go to the lab and process that.